Hey kindergartners, today we're going to take the time to learn about temperature and what, how it helps us understand the weather around us. Today we're going to read the book Temperature at Work. About temperature, have you ever watched ice melt or felt steam rising out of hot chocolate? That was temperature at work. Temperature is how hot or cold something is. Thermometers measure temperature. Over here, this boy Jay takes his temperature. Have you ever had to have your temperature taken? Heat is a kind of energy. It comes from molecules. They're very tiny. Everything is made up of molecules. You, me, the chair I'm sitting on, the water that we drink, everything is made of molecules, including air. Molecules can move very fast, and this gives off energy. We can feel that energy as heat. Like right here, you know that you can feel the heat from a fire, right? And that heat, that energy, can even change objects matter. Like it's changing the way those marshmallows are. Or it's changing the way that this man over here can work with the metal. It makes it squishy so he can bend it. Molecules can move slowly, and that means that there is less energy. The object cools down. That's what we feel when it cools down outside. The molecules are moving more slowly. Temperature can cause something to change. Water freezes when it is cold, and it turns to steam when it is hot. We also learned this when there was rain, remember? Many scientists have studied temperature. Daniel Gabriel Fahrenheit invented one scale. It measures temperature. The United States, which is where we live, uses his scale. Do you see this outdoor thermometer? Do you have one of those at your house? Anders Celsius made a different scale. Many other countries use his scale. Most countries do. Nora sees that it's cold outside and she wears a coat. Kyle knows that it is a warm day. He wears a t-shirt. Think about it. Look around you. Where else is temperature at work? Oh my goodness. Do you ever go to the cold aisles at the grocery store and feel very, very cold? How do you use temperature to tell you what you're going to wear? Hey, Kinders, I've jumped to another page because I want to encourage you to do a temperature race today. What you can do is I want you to fill one container that you can see through, even if it's an old water bottle, with really icy cool water. And I want you to fill another water bottle with hot water from the tap. Make sure it's warm, but don't burn yourself. If you guys have some food coloring at home, you're going to be able to see that the cold water bottle, things the food coloring is going to move much slower than the warm water bottle, where the food coloring will be able to go through the water much more quickly. Oops, there's an ad. Okay, kinders, I hope you have an excellent time today checking out temperature.